All right, welcome to Mexico. The song, that is. <laughs> Today, we're going to work on the song Mexico um, by The Ventures. And um, hopefully, um, this can be helpful to, to some of you out there that, uh, um, that want to kind of pull back and get the big picture on a, on this song here. So, um, this the song is in the key of D. Okay, the first thing I would suggest, and, and this is kind of how I learned it, is go through and just get the basic chord structure. It's only three chords and it's in the key of D. That's a little intro. Then it comes in. bridge part goes the G. Okay, so um, I did that just so you can kind of get the chord structure. So now um, you want to just be aware of those background chords, even if you have to get... Uh, um, you know, a notepad out and just, and, you know, write out the measures with the chords, okay, because this is really helpful for learning this song. You know, while tablatures are, are great, um, if you can learn this following the chord structure, um, it's much more enlightening, I think, and, and I think it uh, can really serve to help you um, to incorporate some of these cool little parts in other songs and uh, also as part of your learning, too. Okay, so um, it starts off, I'm going to start off with that intro. So remember, we're in the key of D, okay? Um, so you can start off by, by doing like these little thirds. Okay, just harmonizing that scale. This is just harmonizing the D major scale, starting on the, here's your D chord. We're just going to start on the B and the, the E string. Okay, and so the intro on this is starting um, right here on the scale. Okay, see, so if you know that, that how to harmonize this scale, that that intro is actually pretty easy. And plus, <clears throat> remember you can use this in any, you know, any song in the key of D, you can use these little little double stops here okay so then here's the intro you know like there's a couple different ways to do this you can go okay I like to use it just uh, using my first finger um, and, and the third finger and I kind of slide them closer together I kind of like that because it keeps this third finger on the string and keeps it ringing. Okay, so that gets you through the intro. And then, um, then we're on the D chord. So, <clears throat> the way I think of this is, <clears throat> here's your D chord up here. Okay, up here on the 10th fret. And you also have a D here, okay? so. So it's going to start off with um, playing these two top notes of a, of a D chord, okay? So it's going to go here to this D, and then So that's pretty easy if you look at it that way. You're just playing a D here, a D down here, and also if, if you do this little toggle here, this is, you know, you're going from D to G. But these little triads just fit in there. Again, which is great to know, um, you know, just for if you're playing songs off the pentatonic scale, 
you have those little those little uh, double stops, which are you know you can use this in a lot of different songs, uh, and and not just uh, not just Mexico. Okay, so um, let me take that. We'll do just that much of it. And then the next part, again, you're thinking of a D here. Um, okay, see, so that whole part's not that hard, if, you know, once you look at it that way. Of course, you have to really get this melody in your head, okay? So, and I'll, I'll give you one little, one little other thing that kind of helped me on this is, again, you're, if you're playing in D, Think of a D major pentatonic. Okay. And one thing that I like to do on this uh, major pentatonic is I'm always doing these little double stops. Well, and there it is right here in this song. You're, you're hitting the, the D string. So then that gets you up to that part, and then um, so, and then the next part goes today. Okay, so now you're thinking of your A shape. Okay, so so this song is a good example of, of like playing a lead, you know, that where you're really following the chords, and that's where you want to get to if you're if you've been practicing the pentatonic scale and you you want to break out of that pentatonic box. Um, a lot of the, the you know the really um, top players um, that I always watch and, and uh, that I admire, you know, they're not only playing the pentatonic scale, but they're also visualizing those chords. Okay, so this song is a great exercise for that. So, and again, that's why you want to know that chord structure before you, you start doing this. Okay, so now you're starting on on A. Here's an A chord. Okay. And this is going up to the seventh. So, um, okay, so let me do that for you one more time. So Okay, and then the other thing too is I'm kind of using um, uh, this pick here. It's like it's not really pointed. It kind of has like a <clears throat> pretty rounded tip. It's it's kind of thick though. That's the point zero seven five or point point seven three. Okay, I found that I tried different picks when I was doing this, but this one here is just round enough to where you can really it kind of just moves over the strings good enough to where you can get that in there. Okay, so anyway, so it. it from the A again. Okay, and then um, it's going to go to the G, but it's walking up from from the D. Okay, so again, think of your think of your major pentatonic scale. Um, Okay, so this little riff is right out of the pentatonic scale. So um, we're, we're going from the, the root note to the third. Then. Again, which is a great, uh, a great uh, little run to put in your bag of trips. And again, as far as picking goes, um, you'll have to like 
you know, come up with the way you like to do it and be consistent with it. And, and, and again, I'll be honest, when I, when I was trying to make the recording on this, I messed that part up a few times and had to stop, go back, play this over like, you know, five or ten times just to make sure I had the, um, you know, the, the, the picking technique down. Um, you know, this is not like a song I play every day. I just learned it because I've always liked this song and wanted to play it and <laughs> made it, played a video, and now I'm on to something different, you know. But, uh, you know, I may play it still from time to time, but this little riff takes a little bit of practice. Okay, so it does, so we're shooting into the, to the G chord. Stop right there. Notice we went to the G chord. Okay, now here's a G right here. Okay, here's a little G try. This this is your root note. Okay. Again, we're we're thinking of the chords. To go back to that little run uh, from the D. We're, we're going from the D, walking into the G. So let me show you what happens there, okay? So when we do this, um, So what you're going to visualize on this one is, is a, a, a D. Here's your D, because it goes to the D. So here's a D major scale. You can start right here if you want to. Um, so what that riff is doing is just following a D major scale. See that? Okay, so that was pretty easy. Like when I learned this, because when I got to that point, oh, it's a D major scale, piece of cake. Okay, if you know the D major scale. So if you don't know that that scale, um, it would be a good 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 time for you to to learn that um, the D major scale, or actually any you can do this anywhere on you know on the E string. Okay, but that's that's all that is, okay. Um, and then it's going to go. Um, that's when it goes to the A. Okay, so that's an A major scale. Okay. This guitar is still hard to play up here this high. Um, so what what's happening there? You're thinking of this major scale based off of the A, okay? But instead of going to the major seventh, it's going to the flat of seventh, which is because it's an A seven. So okay. And you can see if you were to play your little D shape right here, there's an A, okay, this is your root note A, here's an A7. And those are the notes that they're playing, so it's totally following the chords. See that? And, okay, it's totally cool, it's just really cool. It's, um, you know, it sounds wonderful when you listen to it, but you know, it's actually, you know, they didn't reinvent the wheel or anything. The, the, 
they're just simply following the chords and there's always something amazing about that when you when you do that and when you mix that with your pentatonic scale so let me see if I can do that whole part for you again Instead of doing that little riff, it's going to do this. So, same scales we did before, but with this little toggle thing here, or this little dipsy doodle, whatever you want to call it. time so okay and then it's gonna play it down here so you're thinking of a D chord Okay, so okay, so you're on the D, and this is going to go to the A. Again, so on on the A, I'm thinking I'm thinking A major pentatonic. If you think of an A major scale, this is the major seventh, and this is your flat is seventh. That's where that's coming from, okay? And back to the D. still okay so um that ending um okay this right here is an a7 okay again if you think of um here's your little D shaped A, here's your A7, then to a D, a little D triad, and then a D down here. Okay, so let me do that whole last part for you now. Okay, so. sharp now back 
to the day. There you go okay so anyways thank you so much for watching and i would really really appreciate it if you would subscribe um i hope to to keep on making these these videos and uh feel free to put any put in any suggestions and i hope this helps you out um so um i guess to stay within true form i will say hasta la bye bye and have fun playing mexico okay bye bye <laughs>